Hi everybody, this is Dave Frasilli with Holistic Health and Fitness and Holistic Health and Vibrant Life, the podcasts. So for this week's podcast and blog and video, I wrote about surrendering. Surrendering to what is going on right now in your life that you're unhappy with or you're not satisfied with or you're frustrated with or possibly some physical pain that's going on in your life or mental emotional pain. Whatever that circumstance may be, the way to actually create what you do want in life is to be able to surrender to what is, what is going on right now that you're unhappy with. Surrender to that and focus on what you do want to create instead. Now, the frustration for most of us is, is that when we talk about surrender, the first things that come up into our mind is, okay, I surrender, your hands are up, and I give up everything that I know and every, who, everything that I am. And we think that surrender means to, that we're losing something, that we're giving in, we're giving up. And that is very hard for the ego to do. So remember, your ego is your self-image. It's who you believe yourself to be. So when you say, I give up, it's hard to even just say that, isn't it? There's something inside, internally, viscerally. It's like, no, no, don't give up. Don't surrender. Don't give in. Fight for what you want. Now, we have to make the difference here or the understanding in this difference that surrendering to what you don't want in life is the only way to truly bring about what you do want in life. Can you understand that anything that you are resisting, you don't, there's some, let's just say that um, your body is in pain. You have some back pain, maybe some shoulder and neck pain. Doesn't matter how it happened, an accident or it just developed over time. And you're, you're tired, it hurts all the time. So you keep thinking, I just wish I didn't have this pain anymore. Oh my God, oh, it hurts. And, uh. That's resistance. You're resisting what is. It's futile to resist what is. Now again, in your mind, you're going, what are you talking about? If I don't do something about it, then it's always going to be there. Ah. <laughs> ah, as one of my teachers would say. It is not a matter of not doing something about it. It's a matter of not resisting that it's going on. So again, let's say you have back pain or some kind of pain through your body, but it doesn't matter what it is. It could be emotional stuff going on. You're thinking about, you know, he doesn't love me anymore. She's going to leave me. The kids don't love oh, my life is falling apart. That's just as bad, if not worse than physical pain. If you continue to think, think about that and say, I don't want this. This feels terrible. I hate this. Ugh. That's resistance. That is no different than putting a nail into your hand and saying, oh, <laughs> I got a nail in my hand. It's sticking all the way through. It's through your hand. And you're going, oh man, I got a nail in my hand. I, I wish somebody would take this out. That's just resistance to what is. What is is that there's a nail in your hand. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't do something. Okay, take the nail out. But if you sit there and just think about it and say, oh my gosh, oh, 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 woe is me, that's resistance. I wish I could do something about this, but I can't take it out. So there's a difference between taking action and resisting. When you take action, Still don't resist this and saying, I can't wait till this is done, till this is pulled out, till I'm over this, till this is gone, this back pain. Because anything that you give your attention to will remain. So we say, whatever you resist will persist. Because it is that resistance, the only way you can give resistance to anything is by giving it your attention. I got a nail in my hand. You're giving it your attention. You're even admitting it. You're saying, look, there's a nail in my hand. Of course there's a nail in your hand. 
and you're giving all your attention to that. So you're going to really feel it. You're going to identify with it. Ow! Nail in my hand. <laughs> what needs to happen is you need to turn your attention away from, ow, I have a nail in my hand, to my hand feels so much better now. And through that process, you're going to take the nail out of your hand. Yes? But even after you take the nail out of your hand, you're going to go, ow, that hurts still. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. If you focus your attention on, ow, it hurts, it's going to remain hurting. It's going to be more constant in your life. But if you, all of a sudden, a friend says, hey, come on over here. I need your help. Even though you took the nail out and the pain is there, you go over, your attention is turned away from this, and now you're giving your attention to your friend, and you're helping him do this, and it's something very intricate, so you really have to help, and this hand is just down at your side, and you're doing this. And you realize that when you're doing this, you're not even feeling this. Or at least it's diminished a whole bunch. Until you're done here, and then all of a sudden you directly go back to, ow, oh, my hand, it hurts so bad again. And you'll know that everything always hurts more when you think about it. It's because you're giving all your attention or your awareness to it. Surrender. Let go of the resistance. Stop thinking. Stop giving all your power away to things that you don't want in your life. This is how you will create health and fitness and well-being in your life. If you focus on what you do want, focus on going inward into the beingness and feeling the beingness, as opposed to saying, oh, my back, oh, my knees, oh, I got these health problems, oh, oh, my gosh. Surrender to that which is. Don't give any more attention to it. Turn all your attention to what you do want. Turn to the light, as we say. Focus your attention on your beingness, feeling the beingness, the joy, the happiness, the love, the health and well-being. And that will become your life existence and experience. So again, if you want to listen to the podcast, go to iTunes. You'll subscribe to Holistic Health, Holistic Health, Vibrant Life, the podcasts. Subscribe, rate and review for us. Send us a little note. Let us know what you're thinking. And then also, if you want to read the blog, watch any other videos, see how I work with people, etc. If you'd like to work with me, just go to the website, www.holistichealth-fitness.com. Go to the contact page, send me an email. Call me. The phone's right over here, right behind the computer. I'll pick it up, or one of my assistants will, and we can talk. We'll get on Skype. We'll bring you into the studio. We'll work with you, all right? And we'll get everybody, this whole beautiful, wonderful world, moving towards health, fitness, and well-being. So until I hear from you, again, this is Dave Frasilli with Holistic Health Vibrant Life Podcast and Holistic Health and Fitness, and I wish for all of you a vibrant life. Take good care.